In this demonstration, I'm going to show how to write an equation for the sentence the sum of three consecutive integers is 12. The first thing I want to do is determine what the unknowns in this word sentence are. The unknowns in this word sentence are three consecutive integers whose sum is 12. So I must represent each unknown with an expression. The first unknown I'm going to represent with the expression x. Since the unknowns are consecutive integers, integers are positive or negative whole numbers, I know that an example of three consecutive integers could be 2, 3, 4. These integers may not answer my problem here, but they do show the pattern for consecutive integers. To get from the first integer to the next consecutive integer, I must add 1. So, for the expression for my second integer, which is unknown to me, I'm going to let it be x, the first one, plus 1 more. Okay, because I'm adding 1 each time. To go from 3 to 4, I add another 1. So I know the third consecutive integer could be represented by x plus 1, the second integer, plus another 1. Or, by simplifying that, it's really just the first integer, x plus 2. Sum is the answer to an addition problem. So to find the sum of three consecutive integers, I must add each integer up. x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 would be the expression to represent the sum of three consecutive integers. I also know that is is a key word in a sentence to represent an equal sign in mathematics. So the sum of three consecutive integers is or equals 12. These parentheses are not needed. The only reason that I put the parentheses in here was to indicate a separation between the groups. The x was the first integer being added to the second integer, the x plus 1 group, being added to the third integer, the x plus 2 group, to get an answer of 12. And that's how you would write an equation for the sum of three consecutive integers equaling 12.